Art conjures specific words to the mind. Showcase, display, appreciation. Brian Fricke is working to take art from a hidden point A to a very public point B. It's not just in a textbook anymore. Now it's actually real life. I'm part of it. One particular piece has Brian taking special care. I am a big man with little white gloves. Kid gloves for a kid's toy. A kid's toy with a story. A journey that started nearly a century ago in a Native American family and ended up in a cardboard box. Much of this doll's history is unknown. I have thought of it a few times, how many kids played with it, what had happened, where, where it's been. I think of, I have kids, what they do with their dolls, um, was it the same uh, reactions that they had? You know, whose, whose treasure was this? That relationship between a doll and a child can be precious. Usually a name is the first thing a youngster gives their new companion. This doll was found, but some details remain lost. If it actually has a name, I don't know of it. So um, I know it is one of the dolls in um, a highly prized uh, object here at the university. And so this nameless prized plaything is going to a new home. It's in good company. Art created by the likes of Andy Warhol, Salvador Dali, and Roy Lichtenstein are moving from the repository on the University of North Dakota's campus to a downtown destination. part of the Grand Forks community. All parties worked to see how it could be done, didn't spend any time seeing how it couldn't be done. There we go. It was also my intent to give a hint of the wide range of things that are found in the magnificent collections of the University and the University Foundation. I hope you will enjoy what you see. This art collection has not been seen in its entirety for many, many years, if ever. This is just one way of trying to bring us all, unify us, bring us all together, and also offer some of the resources of the university to the broader community. A unification that brings art where it should be, enjoyed by many. And if only our nameless doll had a mouth to tell of the tale of how it came to be and who cared for it so many years ago. How it's made it from a case to a box, through transit to get down here, and now is in uh, a place of honor. Perhaps the name is unimportant. Better unnamed and found than known and hidden away. <laughs>